Our Embassy Dolphin SL is designed with a bed in the rear where the garage storage area is. It uses four cushions to make the bed. The fifth cushion you see on top is actually for the front sofa bed. Below the bed are the enclosed storage cabinets where we store cords, hoses, and other items, and the garage area where we store longer things like our collapsible chairs. Once the cushions are removed, you can see the top of the storage cabinets in two 24 by 31 inch platforms. Each of the platforms are removable to enable storage of much taller items such as bikes. I'm removing them one-handed as I'm holding the camera, so a little awkward, but you get the idea. Keep in mind, Embassy is always trying to improve the RV experience, and they may be coming out with a new design that uses a different system for the platforms. I've seen a preview of it, and it looks great. Once the platforms are removed, you create quite a bit of space for storage. floor space is 31 by 49 inches and the height from floor to ceiling is 77 inches. You can access the underside of the back cabinet by unscrewing the panel. This is where you can pass a hose through if you want to connect to city water. We never need this as we use our bladder tank for all water use, then fill it up whenever we need. But it could be used to pass an extension cord. Our Embassy Owners and Wannabes group has just turned two years old and we're waiting for you to join. If you have any interest in Embassy RVs, it's the place to hang out and get to know other wannabes and owners too. There are even ways to get to see an embassy in the wild. So come on by and say hi. The link is in the description below. Be seeing you. When we went up north on a recent trip, I took the opportunity to go up to Elkhart to add new seat belts for our sofa. While there, I also got the newly designed insulated screens for our windows. They are black on one side and have a silver reflectix type material on the other side. In between is insulation to help keep the temperatures inside the van consistent. Be seen.